Hello Scorpio, I hope you are doing super well. How are you doing? This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be a reading for June 27th to July 3rd, 2022. So in this reading Scorpio, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy, some things you do not see coming, and also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides regarding June 27th to July 3rd, 2022. But before we begin this reading Scorpio, if this general reading resonates with you, definitely smash that like button and subscribe if you have not already for future updates. That would be greatly appreciated over here, Scorpio. As well, be sure to go follow me on Instagram. You'll find the link to my official Instagram account in the description box underneath this uh, reading. And just be aware that there are a ton of fake accounts pretending to be me on Instagram. So my intention is to build up my following on Instagram so that it's clear that my real account has more followers than the fake accounts. Okay, Scorpio, also just follow me because why not? So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this reading and see what it is that would like to come through for you. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides we're overseeing this act of divination for Scorpio. Go ahead and see what we got here for you, Scorpio. Okay, okay, okay. All right, Scorpio. So uh, I, I sense a lot of good things with money, first of all, coming in for you. Basically, you're due for a monetary upgrade because remember that uh, money is a reflection of the value that you can give out to other people. And so I just get like, good karma with money coming to you without you really even doing anything. That sounds really weird, but from the 27th to the 3rd, you can expect receiving like some sort of like check that you forgot about or like some sort of thing that's very good in that regard. But there's much more going on as we'll get into Scorpio. You have the three of pentacles here in your opportunity. So this is opportunity to maybe learn a new skill or hobby that will translate into a craft that you can be proud of. Some of you could be uh, looking into create a side hustle for your business, improving your money. I'm getting Scorpio that some of you here uh, could be could be like learning something new or, or collaborating with a mentor or something like that. At least that's your opportunity, Scorpio. So, you know, the mistake a lot of people make is that they think um, when they get out of like school, uh, like once they graduate college or grad school or high school or whatever, that education is over. You know, education lasts forever. And that's something that you know, Scorpio. So I see you educating yourself on something that's going to pay dividends in the long run, much like what you did to receive the good fortune coming to you now. You also have the temperance card here in your challenge here, Scorpio. So the temperance card here is all about moderation. I'm getting burning off of impurities and it may be required for you to do so in order to uh, take on this three of pentacles role. It could be simply like something, you know, for a, an example to show you what I mean, um, you may have to pass like a marijuana drug test in order to be um, approved to go into this collaborative thing. And I'm getting that it's something for some of you that you're like, do I really have to let this go in order to do it? But some of you, it's, that's why it's your challenge to do this too. Also the temperance card is healing 
here. So I am getting for you, Scorpio, that there there has to be a, a balance with, with your work-life balance here. Some of you could be giving your heart away to your work uh, a little too much. And there's, um, there's this element of like knowing that you deserve the best in, in life and that you can create this through your vibration rather than hard work. Like it's a really weird frequency coming through Scorpio, but you have to look at how can you specifically provide value to other people in a very unique and special way. And like really being willing to look at things that may make you a little bit uncomfortable, I'm getting for some of you. Um, it's a weird frequency coming through Scorpio, but it's like, instead of just believing that hard work alone will get you abundance, it's like this frequency of um, really sinking into something. So I'll show you what we got going on here, Scorpio. You have the hanged man, you have um, the eight of pentacles and also the empress card here in your overall general energy here, Scorpio. So. No doubt about it. I don't sense like this is a great week for you. I, I, I want to be honest with you here. Um, the only thing that is going to prevent you from moving forward is, is basically you're going to be like, uh, let's say that you've created a successful formula in your job. Like let's say that you're, you're working at a pizza place to illustrate this, to, to apply to your specific situation in whatever case. Let's say that you're a dough person in a pizza place and you have a routine of like, okay, I spin the dough, I put it here. It's like A, B, C, that's the machine that works. Instead of just doing that, you're gonna like be like, hmm, maybe there's a different way that I can go about this whole process. But if you don't take the time to look at it from a different perspective, it may not happen. Because remember, the hanged man is a, is, is a, a frequency of being stuck, but it's a willingness to look at it from a different perspective. You see the, the person hanging here, they're not actually trapped. This isn't a frequency of being trapped. It's a frequency of willingly looking at something that yes, may be uncomfortable. There's a lot of spiritual energy going on here for you, Scorpio. I mean, you have the hanged man, the empress, the temperance card, the lovers and the world. So once again, you're due for an upgrade here um, you're basically looking at like I think there's a latent there's some sort of ability that your soul has like it's gonna sound really weird Scorpio but I'm telling you this is what's going on like you're like you're like top five percent in the world in something I don't think you really know what that is yet some of you you do but like 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 walking down the street like you can be a top five percent you can do something the way you do it no one else can do it and I feel like you're like looking into like, wow, like this is what it is. This is what it is. Holy shit. Okay. So just be aware of that. I also, by the way, and what you don't see coming, great things coming for love for you. Great things coming for love. The only problem that I think is that it's going to be moving very fast for you and you don't really know what to do with this yet, Scorpio. And what you don't see coming to change gears a little bit, you have the lover's card, you have the page of uh, cups, and you also have the knight of cups here. And so there is a lot of love offers coming through for you if you're single. For a lot of you already in relationship, I sense that this is moving forward. You may, Scorpio, look at someone who is trying to move something forward with you as they're a little bit immature, or maybe you don't have the same worldview as them. I'm just getting in what you don't see coming. There's someone who, who, there's someone who wants to move something forward with you in love that... Um, I think you're going to do, but there's a little bit of a hesitancy here and we're going to have to clarify to see why. Now, in the advice from your spirit guides, you have the four of, uh, four of swords, you have the five of swords, and you also have the world card here, Scorpio, and your advice from your spirit guides. So you see how the five of swords is like looking at the four of swords, just kind of like laying there. And you also have the world. That's why you're due for an upgrade. You're due for an ending and, and starting something new, collaborating with someone new in love or career. I think it's actually both for a lot of you. The interesting thing, Scorpio, is this five of swords looking at this four of swords here. What I'm sensing going on here in the advice, it's very interesting, but you're going to have to really think about what are this person's intentions here that they want to like page of cups, knight of cups. Like you almost have like a very romantic person, someone that you're maybe with already or someone that you just, you know of, and someone wants to move something forward with you in love, but you're, you're really going to have to think about whether you want to do it or not. You're really going to have to think about it. And that's why the challenge here is the temperance card here, because it's almost like there's a, a there's a, 
there's a lack of uh, maturity. It's almost like you're way more mature. You could even be more expanded than this person who's offering you love. They may be masquerading as a king or a queen, but for some reason, deep down, because you're so psychic, Scorpio, you realize that they're actually operating from a page consciousness. It's not gonna be for all of you, but uh, there is a choice in love here. I mean, it's it's a great reading, Scorpio. I just, we're gonna have to clarify what, what's going on down there. But um, first card that I would like to clarify here for you is why the um, why is the three of pentacles here in your opportunity? Let's get a little bit more information on that, okay? Your opportunity, yeah, let's just see. Give me a minute. Yeah, knight of pentacles, something that you're going to invest in a new skill, okay? This is exactly what I thought, but let's do a little bit more. Knight of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles. So whatever skill that you're learning, you could be a little bit like frustrated that you didn't figure it out before. For some of you, that sounds really weird, but it's coming through. But it's something that's going to lead to a lot of long-term financial uh, like independence. But it's going to require you to look at your unique skill set and really like figure out how can I best do this. So Three of Pentacles in your opportunity, Knight of Pentacles, but hold on. What else do we got? What else do we got with this opportunity? Uh, six of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Mm. Yeah, I mean, this is something that you probably long to do in childhood that once again, it's like the opportunity, and this is your opportunity, Scorpio. So maybe this is something that you doesn't exist in the physical yet, but you're, you're, you're getting it going here. Okay, three of pentacles, knight of pentacles, six of cups, and the queen of swords here. Uh, this is something, once again, what did you long for in childhood? That's the question that you need to ask yourself. What did you long for in childhood? And then make a decision as the queen of swords. Uh, even if you're a masculine energy, I'm just getting make a decision, a very firm decision to pour all your mental energy into learning this thing that is latent. I'm telling you, it's something that you used to love to do that maybe you shut out because of your culture or society or whatever. Someone told you, no, that's not for you. And this is going to sound really weird. This is for some of the Scorpios out there. Um, you have to use how you look to basically cater to a certain demographic of people. This is going to sound really weird, Scorpio, but like, here, listen to this story. There was once a story of a spiritual teacher who was very, he happened to be very uh, overweight. This spiritual teacher was very overweight. He was loved by his audience, by the way, but because he was overweight, he was fat. He was always looking to ways to lose weight. And no matter what he did, he couldn't lose the weight. He couldn't lose the weight. And what he realized is that he actually had a pre-birth agreement a certain soul mission to embody that kind of pleasantly plumpness so that he would reach a certain demographic with his teachings who already loved him for it. So for a lot of you beautiful women out there, instead of using your beauty and looking at it as a shameful that society shames you, oh, you can't, you know, use your beauty to get ahead in your career. Yes, you actually can because the way that you look is meant to reach a demographic of people. That's why even like, yeah, I'll say, I'll say that, okay? But he was meant to be fat. You're meant to look how you're meant to look. There's something about you. Don't be afraid of your own greatness. I feel like, uh, I feel like um, it, even if you're a guy, your girl Scorpio is like, you're basically shutting out your own greatness for whatever reason. But it's something that you're going to be looking at, okay? Now, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's clarify why this temperance card is here in your challenge, okay? Because a lot of stuff going on with this. Let's go ahead and see. Hanged man again. Why is the temperance card here in your challenge? So, hmm. Why is the temperance card here in your challenge, Scorpio? Temperance card is challenged, is, challenged, is clarified by 
the Eight of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and also the Hermit card. Okay, so I mean, what I'm getting from this Scorpio is you're, you're, you have a love offer that's coming in very fast and you're gonna have to decide like, because there's almost like someone who wants to get married to you. There's almost someone who wants to move in with you. And um, you understand that this lover is actually maybe going to take away from this process that I've been describing about your life purpose and about it, and it making value to other people and maybe creating a side hustle or advancing the career that already exists, tapping into your inner child, what you used to love to then provide value in that way, collaborating three of pentacles, learning a new skill. Um, the challenge is that of, of course you love this person. I think that you find this person very attractive. I think that you you find them sweet. You find them like loving, but um, your challenge here, Scorpio, with the temperance card is that you're really going to have to think deeply because someone wants to basically combine worlds with you. And I don't know if you're ready to do it. And the, the way that they're coming at you with such a, they, or they will be, this is what you don't see coming by the way, for the 27th to the third, uh, the way in which they come at you with the speed, it's going to be a little bit too much for you as well. It's going to be like, well, I'm going to fall into this other person's frame and that may take away from my own process of authenticity. Now, for some of you who are evolved enough, I think you can handle both. But for a lot of you, I don't know. Because the advice from your spirit guides is, once again, you see that five of swords to the four of wands here? Uh, the four of swords here, excuse me. Uh, there is, um, I'm not getting a, I'm actually, it's because I read intuitively and I let the energy speak to me. And this is not someone who has bad intentions towards you. But it is someone who by going down this road of pleasure with this lover may take away from this thing that you're meant to do, like the fat man spiritual teacher. But no matter what, I see you being in abundance with a lover. I see you being in abundance with your what you have going on. I think great things are coming for you, Scorpio, and this is a really a breath of fresh air from what we were the general readings that I've been doing for you in the past, and like all this like ending, I think the smoke has cleared. I think you're in a much better position now. So congratulations. I hope that you enjoyed this reading, Scorpio. You're due for an upgrade, so enjoy it. This is the Autistic Mystic.